Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol AMD. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like you this time frame. I think that's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Been doing this analysis on a pretty routine basis. Did it yesterday, so that's where these red and green line annotations are coming from. But after the crazy day, not only in AMD, but across the market, uh, certainly some updates here need to be made. First thing I'm gonna do, a little house clean and go ahead and get rid of that line up there. Sure, it still pertains, but from a presentation standpoint, I don't want a million lines everywhere that can cause clutter and then potentially confusion. We want to try to keep this as clean as possible. First update though comes from a foundational principle in charting which states when levels of support are broken and closed below, they tend to act as resistance. So for those of you that watched yesterday's video, hopefully you remember me talking about 1225 as support, but the price broke below it. And then as a rule states, tend to act as resistance. So the price gap below it, and then the price bounce, 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 and surprise, surprise, you can see the price got hung up right around that 1225 area. So that's been confirmed as resistance. Although before you even start talking about doing battle with that level and breaking that level of resistance, uh, the pressing level, the near term level is definitely gonna be that purple line there, which is the 50 period simple moving average. And is the reason why that the chart uh, has lost some attractiveness. Now don't get me wrong, there's a big difference between being totally ruined and losing some attractiveness. Yes, the chart has lost some of its attractiveness because as I've been saying for those uh, longer term viewers, you know, as long as the price is above that purple line, bulls are in full health, bulls are in full control, no questions asked. Well, at this point, obviously the price is no longer above that purple line. And in fact, the price is pulled further away from there. So you can sit here and say that everything's totally fine. No, the, the chart's showing some signs of weakness. Again, does that mean that everything's totally ruined? Not saying that. Uh, but you know, the sooner the price can get back above that purple line, the better. Now, what about potential areas of support? Where are some of these next key levels at? Next main one for me, it looks to be right where the price started to bounce at about 11.15. So that makes sense why the price bounced around right here. I say that if you look back here through the history of the chart, you can see acted as support right there. In the event 11.15 cannot hold, next key level of support down around the $10.80 mark. So we'll see what happens with it again. Uh, was it all AMD or did the general markets, you know, have a, a bigger influence over it? You know, that remains to be seen. Uh, but from the big picture of things, sure it pulled back, but let's say, you know, the price comes down here, bounces around before heading back, back, back up. You know, what would you have in this situation? Well, you'd have a set of, set of lows there. You'd have a set of lows there. You'd have a set of lows there. So for you, you know, if you care about the big picture of things, well, you would still have stair steps progressing in the upwards direction. So there is some perspective that goes into it. Obviously, if you're a day trader and you bought yesterday, the chart's not looking good for you. But if you care about the big picture of things, the bulls do still have an opportunity to uh, continue the upward stair step. So we'll see how it all unfolds tomorrow. One of the biggest questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.